Okay, so we are now in our Art to Basket button view templates. If uh, the first thing we need to do is um, to bind some properties and actions um, for the input, we're going to use wire and we're going to go for model, which will be represented by QTY uh, for the quantity. And for the button, what we're going to do is uh, wire on click. What we want to do is call add method. If we now save it, open our add to basket button. First of all, what we need to do is add this property quantity. So public, it's going to uh, be represented by the integer. Uh, but uh, at this point, LiveWire doesn't support uh, type uh, type properties. So we can't simply use integer and then uh, quantity. We have to just use the variable itself, the property name, so quantity. And then we're going to associate one to start with. And let's just add some dog block this way. Okay, so quantity, and obviously we have this action at, so public function at, it will not return anything, so void. Let's add dog blocks, uh, add product to the basket, return void. And for the time being, that's all we're going to have. Let's just save it and preview it in a browser, refresh the page. If we go back to the, the product, as you can see, the basket, add to basket button is still there, but now it's actually displaying one, which is being fetched from within our uh, add to basket button class and its property quantity. If I was to change it to five, that will also be reflected on the front end, as you can see. Okay, so let's go back to one. Now, uh, we are going to be using session to store uh, our baskets content during this course, but we will create uh, the repository together with its own um, uh, interface. So if you want to use anything else, database, uh, Anything else you may come up with, uh, you'll be able to create your own implementation for it. Okay, so what we're going to start with under the app, we're going to create a new directory called repositories. And here I'm going to go for another directory called contracts. And within contracts, I'm going to create an interface called basket repository contract. And the namespace for this one is going to be app. Then we have repositories and lastly it's contracts. Okay. And the first method that we need at this particular time is the, the method called add. So public function add. Oops, it's not the, let's just go back one because it's not a class, it's actually interface. So public function add, which will return void, but it will take it will take integer ID of the product and integer quantity for that given product. Let's just add dog blocks and let's say add item to the basket. And let's add return void as well with this. So that's our contract now. We are going to have another directory on the repositories. This one will be for the session one. And here I'm going to have basket repository. Namespace again, up. Oh, come on, not just up. It's going to be up uh, repositories and then session. And this one will implement our basket repository contract. So let's add this method stuff for the add method. And from here, first of all, obviously, because we're using session, I'm going to use a constructor here on this basket repository. Uh, and I will inject the session instance. So session, it's not a facade. It's the contract session, session, let's update dog blocks and it's initialized the property. Uh, so we pull in the session from the uh, from the container as well. That will be automatically resolved. And now for the add method, what we're going to do, I'm going to add here dog blocks as well. But rather than these ones, I'm just going to use inherit docs from the contract. And for the add method, I'm going to just go through this session put and this identity ID 
and then we're going to have quantity as the volume. So identity method, let's just quickly create this one. It is going to be a private one, which is fine. It's going to return string, takes ID, and now it's going to be get item identity. I'm using item here. I've been using product in the other place. Uh, up to you how you want to call this. Uh, so uh, identity is simply going to be returned. It's going to have a string basket concatenated with ID. So in the basket, we're going to have array. Basket will represent array of products uh, represented by key and the quantity which will represent the value for that given product. So that's identity. So that will add the basket um, basket index to the session. Uh, within this basket, if I just show you maybe it's something like this basket, we're going to have if the product ID is one and the quantity three, then that's what is going to be uh, represented as. Okay, so we have our add method. Now what we need to do obviously is to be able to access this particular repository from within our component. But before we do this, we need to obviously register this repository. And to do this, we are going to use app service provider. Here we're going to create the property, which will be of a public visibility, single tons, because that's what we need. Our session uh, doesn't have to be reinstantiated every time we call it, so it's just a single ton. Uh, and it's going to take basket repository contract class when we are calling for it, give us basket repository instance. And obviously, if you create your own implementation, uh, then obviously the, the, only, the only thing you're going to have to do is basically replace whatever is associated with this uh, contract uh, to resolve it uh, through the container later on. Okay, so that's our single. That, that, that's now been registered, so it's going to be available from within the container. Now, one thing about uh, LiveWire again is uh, we, we can inject the service, we can inject the class, which is going to be resolved through the container, but if it's going to be private, and I wouldn't want it to be public because everything public, all pro public properties from within the component are then visible with the responses to the client. And obviously I wouldn't want to show the, the service class here uh, on the repository class. A, all private all, are only available on the first call uh, when we're actually mounting uh, uh, the the component. Uh, later on, when we are uh, refreshing the component, that property is unavailable, which means that obviously we would lose uh, the ability to interact with this repository. So in order for us to be able to access this repository, what I'm going to do is create a helper, another helper function under our helpers, which you'll find uh, as I've shown in the previous video under the app directory. And this time, this one is going to be simply called basket. I'm going to copy, duplicate what we have here for this is uh, integer to decimal. I'm going to rename it to basket. It will not take anything. It's going to be uh, empty for the arguments. And from here, I'm just simply going to use app helper and now resolve the uh, basket repository contract, which will give me the instance of the currently bound uh, in, in implementation of this of this contract. It's not alias, I just want to import it. Sorry. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There we go. So there we go. So whenever I'm going to call basket function, that's going to pull the basket uh, implementation from the container. So that's fine. So what we can do now, if I just save and close this repository and the contract as well, we go back to our add method. And what I'm going to do here, I simply start with uh, quantity equals, and now we need another property, which will store the initial val initial quantity when the uh, page has been reloaded, what's the, the current quantity for this product in a basket. So I'm going to call it a current quantity public again, uh, current quantity. And by default, I'm going to set it to null. So if we go back to our art, I'm going to use this current quantity plus, and we are parsing this, uh, we are casting this to integer, this quantity, whatever we receive from, uh, for this given uh, product, obviously from within our component here. 
So that's our quantity and now we check if quantity is less than one, if someone went down uh, to zero, they, they shouldn't be able if they use the interface because minimum here is uh, one. So if I just go back to the interface here, see if I start going down, one is the least that you can specify. But obviously, if someone wanted to, they could obviously overcome this uh, limitation and, and just put minus 10 or whatever. Uh, so we're just going to double check here. If the quantity is minus uh, is less than one, then we simply return and terminate the execution of this method. Then we're going to go for basket, our freshly created basket function at, because this is giving us access obviously to the methods on this contract or an implementation. In our case, it's going to be this session basket repository. And now we need a ID of the product and the quantity we want to add. So ID of the product, we take from the product ID property and then the quantity, which we just calculated here. Next, what we're going to do is reset the quantity on the basket. So quantity will set it to one. So if we say chose four of them, we click on add basket. That's going to add the items, four items to the basket and reset this to just one. And lastly, what we want to do is emit the event. This emit and we're going to uh, emit the event called basket updated. And now this event later on will be caught by the other two. So by this button and by our basket. Once this event is uh, emitted from within the basket button, both of these components will make a fresh call to the session, to our repository and fetch updated uh, number of items uh, and, and obviously the products themselves as well. So the, the number will uh, be updated here. Obviously, number of products will uh, the products in the basket will also be refreshed and their associated quantity plus the total recalculated. OK, so that's our add method. Uh, one other thing we want to do, if I just go back to uh, Livewire documentation and we check the lifecycle hooks, uh, first one, the mount which we have already in place runs only once and it's immediately and it runs immediately after the component is instantiated but before the render is called which means that obviously before we actually return the view back to the client now hydrate method however runs on every request immediately after the component is hydrated but before an action is performed or render is called so what we need to do before we uh, actually add item to the basket we need to make sure that we have uh, fresh uh, quantity of the given product from the basket on load, obviously, because we might already have this basket in uh, uh, this item in the basket, in which case we obviously need to have the quantity, uh, the current quantity set, because at the moment by default is set to zero. So what I'm going to do is use this hydrate, uh, uh, hydrate hook uh, to make sure that we fetch it directly from the basket. So public function hydrate and this one hydrate and this one is void as well. We're going to say hydrate component return turn void. There we go. And what we're going to do here is simply use this uh, current quantity equals basket. And then we're going to go for the method, which we don't have yet. It's going to say get current quantity and we pass the ID of the product, which is product ID. So that's what we need to make sure that this add method actually does what it's supposed to. Now, before we go any further, let's go back to our contract and let's add this. I'm going to split screen here. Let's add this get current quantity method. So uh, let's just add it after this add one public function get current uh, quantity integer for ID of the product and it will return the integer as well. Let's just say get items as I stick to items here, get items current quantity. OK, so now that we have it in a in our contract, we need to add it to our implementation, get current quantity. And again, I'm going to use inherit docs here for the doc block, inherit doc. And from within here, let me just quickly check what I've put in. Uh, we are going for return this session get and we're using this identity again method 
to get the right uh, product ID. And by default, if the get method uh, won't find the product by this ID, we are going to return zero. Okay, if we save it, let's now try and preview everything in browser. I'm just hoping that it's going to work. Uh, so, oops, something's happened. Let's see what we are getting here with the request. Uh, to basket, that seemed to be working and it's returning everything the way it should. Obviously, nothing's updating because we haven't got the, these two components implemented yet. But let's just, if we go back to the view, let's just DD a session all the uh, the like this directive okay refresh the page and here we have our session basket as you can see product id is two and we have three of these products already obviously the the styling has already uh is already messed up uh but but it seemed to be working as you can see we have uh product id and three items which have added to the basket so i'm just going to remove this for now so that's our add to basket button component completed. In the next video, we're going to start working on our basket button, which is displayed right at the top here.